you know, I thought a uh, really hard fought game. And credit Mississippi State, I think their defense is one of the best you'll see. They're very act active, athletic, and they made it really tough on us early. Really had a guy that's kind of out of sorts. And we turned the ball over too many times in the first half. I thought if we could ever get that corrected, then we'd be okay. And um, But the one thing that I would say about our team, really proud of them, we've grown a lot in the last couple weeks, obviously mentally. And, you know, early in the season, going back to our first game, when we defended well but we didn't score, we let that affect all ends of the floor. And tonight, we weren't doing great things offensively, but we kept defending the whole night. We really defended for 40 straight minutes, and I uh, thought that was the difference in the game. The shot hook hit, was that exactly the way you wanted Dabney drove, bounding? It was a long range shot, but, yeah. he, but did you like the whole execution? Loved there? it. Loved it, and, and I tell you, a lot goes into a simple play, mm -hmm. but a lot goes into it. And, um, you know, you have a young man, Lou Dabney, he's just, he's an off the charts competitor in toughness, and, and you talk about mental and physically. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Made, made a couple of great physical plays down the stretch, mm -hmm. even though things didn't go his way all night. But then at the end, put the ball in his hands. And I just felt like, even though we did that at the end of the first half, and maybe he didn't make the best decision, I thought he would I thought he would have the toughness to come back and make, make it a great decision this time. And he beat his man, drew two defenders, made a perfect pass back to Jay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jay was ready to step up and knock it down. We were fortunate, our depth paid off. We gave Jay, not only was he able, we were able to survive his absence in the first half with foul trouble, but we gave him a little bit of a break right by the last media timeout. He had his legs to knock in that last shot. Coach, talk about, was this a big mental hurdle for your team to, to get that win over an SEC school? I know you're now 2-0 and against SEC schools. Yeah. I think you might need to <laughs> schedule them more often. The, uh, you know, I'm not so sure it, it matters what league or anything like that, but, but just, a, you know, um, I think it was a big deal that we went up against a quality opponent, and like I said, and, and things didn't go our way for a long time mm -hmm. offensively. And we showed the mental toughness to, and the physical toughness to keep defending and rebounding. We had a rebound on one of the best rebounding teams to this point, you know, in, in the country. And um, the fact that our guys did that against a quality opponent, I think mean, that speaks volumes, regardless of what league they're from or anything like that. Yeah, talk about that. I mean, that was that five-minute stretch. I think it was between hook shots. I think that uh, you know, you guys. It seemed like the, the game could slip away, but I think y'all six or seven empty possessions. But talk about the defending and the rebounding. They kind of kept you in it. Yeah, you know, I, I think you know down the stretch there, we, we really did. We had some empties where we we had a couple of guys who were maybe a little fatigued. We stopped moving the way we needed to. Uh, we changed up kind of how we were moving and, and got us going again. But um, again, the defense and the rebounding and, and, and the big plays. And when you do that, the crowd stays energized. I thought they were fantastic. They were behind us, and, and um, you know, you just you just you just know one play can 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 turn the game for you because you're because you're right there in it, and they're having a hard time scoring. So um, hopefully, our guys really take the lessons of this game and realize that we can play in a game like that and come out victorious.